Welcome to our Celebrity Studios channel, in today's video we are going to present about the list of actors and actresses who have appeared in the films of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. The Marvel Cinematic Universe or MCU is a media franchise and shared fictional universe that is the setting of superhero films produced by Marvel Studios, based on characters that appear in Marvel Comics publications, phases 1, 2, and 3, were known as the Infinity Saga featuring many franchises and their sequels, and the first four Avengers crossover films, Phase 1 of the franchise includes six films, featuring four different superhero properties, leading up to a crossover in the 2012 film Marvel's The Avengers. The franchise's Phase 2 features three sequels to Phase 1 films, as well as two new film properties, and the crossover Avengers Age of Ultron, which released in 2015. Phase 3 features four sequels to earlier films, and four new film properties, as well as the crossover films Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame. Phase 4 is intended to feature seven sequels to earlier films, and four new film properties. The Marvel Cinematic Universe has been pumping out movies for over a decade now, and it has grown into a worldwide phenomenon, with the movies breaking box office records and the characters becoming pop culture icons. Marvel has now reached the point where Hollywood's biggest names are wanting to get involved, with the likes of Christian Bale now joining the cast for upcoming projects. However, these movies have also helped make careers as well, with actors such as Tom Holland and Chris Evans being rocketed to newfound levels of fame because of their involvement, with Disney Plus now pushing more MCU content than ever. Thanks to its television shows such as Loki and WandaVision, the excitement surrounding the characters has only grown to new heights, as the franchise is composed of films adapted from a variety of Marvel Comics properties, there are multiple lead actors and actresses, so, here is the entire list of the actors and actresses who have appeared in the movies of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Robert Downey Jr. played Iron Man or Tony Stark, the son of two actors. Robert Downey Jr. was born into the entertainment business and became a star in the 1980s with a run of acclaimed performances. After a well-publicized battle with drugs and several arrests in the late 90s, Downey had one of the greatest comebacks in Hollywood history with his role as Tony Stark, first appearing in Marvel Comics in 1963. Iron Man is the alter ego of billionaire engineering genius Tony Stark. The character was the first superhero in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, starring in 2008's Iron Man, which was a smash hit with audiences and critics. Chris Evans plays Captain America or Steve Rogers. Each installment of Chris Evans' Captain America trilogy has been among the most acclaimed movies in the MCU. He's been a Hollywood star since the early 2000s and first became an on-screen superhero in the mid-2000s Fantastic Four movies, in which he played the Human Torch. Captain America first appeared in 1941 and is one of Marvel's earliest characters. Chris Hemsworth plays Thor. Chris Hemsworth first made his name as a TV soap star in his native Australia. American audiences first saw him in 2009's Star Trek and he's been a Hollywood mainstay ever since. He's appeared in seven MCU movies so far, including three standalone Thor films, Thor, the God of Thunder from Asgard, first appeared in Marvel Comics in 1962 and in the MCU in 2011's Thor. Mark Ruffalo plays the Hulk, Bruce Banner is one of the few characters to have changed actors during its run in the MCU, Edward Norton played the role in The Incredible Hulk, but Mark Ruffalo replaced him. Starting with 2012's The Avengers, Ruffalo is one of the most respected dramatic actors in the MCU, with acclaimed performances in movies like Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, Spotlight and Fox Catcher. He's played Banner in five movies so far, Scarlett Johansson plays Black Widow or Natasha Romanoff, Scarlett Johansson has been a mainstay of American movies since she was a child actor in the mid-90s, since then. She has become Hollywood's highest grossing female actor of all time, thanks in no small part to her role as Natasha Romanoff in the MCU. Jeremy Renner plays Hawkeye or Clint Barton, a two time Oscar nominee. Jeremy Renner is yet another accomplished screen actor in the MCU. After making his movie debut in 1995's Silly National Lampoon Senior Trip, he's gone on to have roles in intense movies like The Hurt Locker. The Town and the Mission Impossible franchise, 
Don Cheadle plays War Machine or James Rhodes. The role of James Rhodes has been played by two actors during the MCU's run. Don Cheadle took over the role in 2010's Iron Man 2, after Terence Howard had played him in Iron Man, with a long list of acclaimed roles and a background as a director, writer and producer. Cheadle is one of the most accomplished entertainers to appear regularly in the MCU. Elizabeth Olsen plays Scarlet Witch or Wanda Maximoff, the younger sister of 90s child acting icons Mary-Kate and Ashley Olsen. Elizabeth Olsen has become an accomplished actress over the years, starting with her acclaimed performance in 2011's Martha Marcy May Marlene, an extremely powerful sorcerer. Wanda Maximoff first appeared in Marvel Comics in 1964. Tom Hiddleston plays Loki, a respected British actor. Tom Hiddleston was mostly known for his stage work before his breakout role as Loki in Thor. His performances as Loki in the MCU movies have earned him acclaim, and he won a Golden Globe for his work in 2016's The Night Manager. Loki first appeared in 2011's Thor and served as the villain in 2012's The Avengers before becoming an ally of the heroic group in later movies. Paul Bettany plays Vision, due to his dual role as Vision and the voice of Jarvis. British actor Paul Bettany has appeared in seven MCU movies and Disney Plus shows so far. His other big roles include playing the villain in 2006's The Da Vinci Code and Chaucer in A Knight's Tale. He has also played the villain role in Solo A Star Wars Story. In the MCU, Vision first appeared in 2015's Avengers Age of Ultron. Sebastian Stan plays the Winter Soldier or James Bucky Barnes, before taking his role as Bucky Barnes. Romanian-born actor Sebastian Stan had recurring roles in TV shows including Gossip Girl and NBC's Kings. In the MCU, Barnes debuted in 2011's Captain America The First Avenger, where he was shown to be the best friend of Steve Rogers. He was believed to be killed in that movie but later came back as a brainwashed villain before joining the Avengers as a hero. Josh Brolin plays Thanos, like Hulk and Rhodey. The role of Thanos has been played by two actors during his time in the MCU. In the Avengers, Damien Poitier played the role, but Josh Brolin took over for the three subsequent appearances, starting with 2014's Guardians of the Galaxy, the son of actor James Brolin. Josh Brolin has starred in a long list of notable Hollywood movies, earning great acclaim for his work in No Country for Old Men and Milk, among others. Thanos made his first appearance in the MCU during a credit scene in 2012's The Avengers. Anthony Mackie played the role of Falcon and now currently plays Captain America or Sam Wilson, a respected Broadway actor. Anthony Mackie first caught the attention of many filmgoers for his role in 2009's Oscar winning The Hurt Locker. In addition to playing Sam Wilson in MCU movies so far, Mackie has had roles in 8 Mile. Detroit and HBO's 2016 film All the Way, in which he played Martin Luther King. He first appeared in the MCU in 2014's Captain America The Winter Soldier. Chris Pratt plays Star Lord or Peter Quill, one of Hollywood's most in demand actors. Chris Pratt has played Peter Quill in four movies so far, including two Guardians of the Galaxy movies. He's had TV and movie roles since 2000, including main parts in the WB's Everwood and NBC's Parks and Recreation. Born in America but raised in outer space, Peter Quill is the de facto leader of the ragtag Guardians of the Galaxy. In addition to his MCU work, he's currently at the center of several blockbuster movie franchises like the Jurassic World franchise. Dave Bautista plays Drax the Destroyer. Standing at 6 feet 9 inches tall and weighing nearly 300 pounds, Dave Bautista doesn't need much help to look like a superhero. He spent more than 10 years as a professional wrestler with WWE before getting into acting full-time. He's played Drax in four MCU movies so far and has also worked in major films like the James Bond outing Spectre and 2017's Blade Runner 2049. Zoe Saldana plays Gamora New Jersey born Zoe Saldana has become a sci-fi icon thanks to her work as Gamora in four MCU movies, as Lieutenant Uhura in the three latest Star Trek movies and as the star of James Cameron's Odawa. Many 90s kids will remember her as Britney Spears co-star in the cult classic movie Crossroads. Karen Gilrar plays Nebula, like her on-screen sister Zoe Saldana, Scottish actor Karen Gilrar is regarded as a sci-fi icon. 
Thanks to her work in the MCU and in the BBC series Doctor Who, Kilra has been acclaimed for her work as Nebula for which she actually shaved off her fantastic red locks and cemented her star status in 2017's smash hit Jumanji Welcome to the Jungle. Vin Diesel voices Groot, one of Hollywood's go-to action stars, Vin Diesel has provided the voice for Groot in four MCU movies, aside from his work as the beloved creature. He's also the star and producer of the Fast and the Furious movie franchises. Due to his busy schedule, Diesel has said that doing the voice of Groot is the only way he would have been able to be a part of the MCU, possibly the world's favorite member of the Guardians of the Galaxy. The tree-like creature Groot first appeared in Marvel Comics in 1960, giving him more history than most members of the Avengers. First introduced to film audiences in 2014's Guardians of the Galaxy, Groot in his full-grown, teenage and baby forms may be the most quoted character in the MCU thanks to his only line of dialogue being, I am Groot, Bradley Cooper voices Rocket Raccoon, Rocket's gruff voice comes from four-time Oscar nominee Bradley Cooper, Cooper has been a regular in TV and movies since the early 2000s, with his breakout role coming in 2009's The Hangover, he's gone on to produce movies and his directorial debut, A Star Is Born. Rocket Raccoon was introduced in Marvel Comics in 1976 and in the MCU in 2014's Guardians of the Galaxy, where he was paired up with Groot. Pom Clementif plays Mantis. French-Canadian actor Pom Clementif hasn't become too familiar to American audiences outside of her work as Mantis in three MCU movies so far. Before landing that role, she had mostly appeared in French-language movies as well as director Spike Lee's 2013 movie Old Boy, alongside fellow MCU actors Josh Brolin and Elizabeth Holson, Paul Rudd plays Ant-Man or Scott Lang, one of the most likable actors in Hollywood, Paul Rudd has been a mainstay of movies and TV since making his film debut in 1995's Clueless, he's had main roles in beloved comedies like Anchorman, Knocked Up and as well as a recurring role in Friends. While Ant-Man first appeared in Marvel Comics in 1962, Scott Lang didn't debut in print until 1979, and was the second man to carry that superhero title. Lang debuted in the MCU in 2015's Ant-Man and has two standalone movies. Tom Holland plays Spider-Man or Peter Parker. London-born Tom Holland has been acting since he was a child, on stage, in TV and in movies. He made his screen debut in 2012's The Impossible at the age of 16. Despite being younger than other actors who've played Spider-Man on screen, he's drawn praise for his energetic performances as the character in MCU movies so far. Spider-Man is one of the most profitable superhero of all time. Marvel's most iconic character first appeared in its comics in 1962 but, due to the character's movie rights being owned by Sony, he didn't appear in the MCU until 2016's Captain America Civil War. Late Chadwick Boseman played Black Panther or T'Challa, a veteran of TV and movies. Chadwick Boseman was nearly 40 years old when he made his MCU debut as T'Challa in 2016. He's also known for his performances as American icons like Jackie Robinson, James Brown, and Thurgood Marshall. Bozeman's intense performance in Black Panther helped make it one of the highest-grossing movies of all time. Chadwick Bozeman passed away in 2020 due to cancer. Benedict Cumberbatch plays Doctor Strange, a powerhouse British actor. Benedict Cumberbatch has been nominated for nearly every major award a thespian can hope to earn. Aside from his appearances in the MCU as Doctor Strange, Cumberbatch is perhaps best known for his work in the BBC or PBS series Sherlock for which he won an Emmy in 2014. Strange made his MCU debut in the 2016 standalone movie Doctor Strange. Michael B. Jordan played Killmonger or Eric Stevens. At only 31, Michael B. Jordan has already had a career in TV and movies that any actor would envy. As a teen, he turned heads for his role in HBO's legendary series The Wire and, from there, had main roles in ABC's All My Children and NBC's Friday Night Lights. He was heavily praised for his roles in 2013's Fruitvale Station and 2015's Rocky Balboa reboot Creed. Killmonger made his Marvel Comics debut in 1973 and his MCU debut in 2018's Black Panther. 
where he quickly became regarded as one of the best villains in the entire franchise, Idris Selba played Heimdall, widely regarded as one of the most attractive men on the planet, British actor Idris Selba has had a stellar career across TV, movies and music, on the small screen, he's best known for his work in HBO's The Wire and BBC's Luther, while on the big screen he's been in blockbusters like 2016's The Jungle Book, Star Trek Beyond and Zootopia as well as four MCU movies, he also works as a renowned DJ in his spare time. Letitia Wright plays Cherie, Letitia Wright is only 27 years old and has only been in three MCU movies, born in Guyana and raised in England, Wright has also had roles in British TV shows, including Top Boy, Doctor Who and Black Mirror, Tanai Gurira plays Akoye, best known for her starring role in AMC's The Walking Dead. Tanai Gurira is also an accomplished playwright who happens to speak four languages, her 2009 play Eclipsed won several awards, leading her to take several notable roles in movies and TV, along with playing a koi in MCU movies, she also played the mother of Tupac Shakur in 2017's All Eyes on Me, a hard-nosed Wakandan warrior, Okoye first appeared in Marvel Comics in 1998 in a very limited role, but was moved to the foreground in the MCU, with her debut in 2018's Black Panther, Michael Roker plays Yondu, a veteran screen actor known for playing tough guys, Michael Roker burst onto the Hollywood scene with his acclaimed performance in 1986's Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer. After that, he went on to have main roles in Days of Thunder, Cliffhanger and JFK, as well as a recurring role in AMC's The Walking Dead, he's played Yondu in two MCU movies, known for his blue skin and red mohawk-like head fin, Yondu was first introduced in Marvel Comics in 1969, where he was a member of the Guardians of the Galaxy, in the MCU, he debuted in 2014's Guardians of the Galaxy and became a true fan favorite in the 2017 sequel, Samuel L. Jackson plays Nick Fury. Nick Fury could be arguably played by the most accomplished Hollywood iconic actor, Samuel L. Jackson. In 2011, he was named the highest grossing actor in movie history, with his films collecting more than $7 billion combined at that point. Aided by his central roles in the MCU and the Star Wars franchise, Clark Gregg played Phil Coulson, a genuine triple threat. Actor writer director Clark Gregg gained respect on the stage and earned credibility in dozens of supporting roles in film and television for two decades prior to becoming part of one of the biggest movie franchises in history. Gregg made his first appearance as secret agent Phil Coulson in the superhero spectacular Iron Man. More Coulson cameos followed, eventually leading to an expanded role in the summer blockbuster The Avengers and a starring role in the TV series Marvel's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. John Favreau plays Happy Hogan, actor, producer, writer and director John Favreau hit unlikely pay dirt when swingers, his low-budget, autobiographical indie about struggling young actors, turned he and co-star and real-life best friend Vince Vaughn into hot property seemingly overnight, his 2008 adaptation of Marvel Comics Iron Man starring Robert Downey Jr. was one of the most anticipated action films of the year leading to a return to leading man status for Downey and hard-won blockbuster credentials for its highly creative director, Favreau continues to be a producer for the Marvel Cinematic Universe and actor playing Tony Stark's personal assistant Happy Hogan, Gwyneth Paltrow plays Pepper Potts, raised by Hollywood fixtures Bruce Paltrow, a successful director and producer, and renowned actress Blythe Tanner, Gwyneth Paltrow was practically predestined toward a life of show business. Paltrow won an Oscar for Best Actress in 1998 for the Best Picture winning romance Shakespeare in Love. In 2008, she signed on to what would become the beginnings of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, playing Pepper Potts in Iron Man. Paltrow reprised the role in Iron Man 2, The Avengers, and Iron Man 3 and starred predominantly in Marvel films. Jeff Bridges played Obadiah Stane. Though acclaimed veteran actor Jeff Bridges was born into a Hollywood family, he proved his own merit as a star several times over. Bridges starred in the blockbuster remake of King Kong, cementing his place in Hollywood as a major star. As the 80s began, he earned his third Academy Award nomination for his performance in the sci-fi drama Starman, 
Bridges joined the Marvel Universe as villain Obadiah Stane in Iron Man and finally won an Oscar in 2010 for his critically acclaimed performance as a troubled country musician in Crazy Heart. Late Stan Lee played cameo roles in all the movies of MCU. Stan Lee rose from a comic book writer into a global icon, famous for his superhero creations. A New York native, he began working as an assistant at Timely Comics in 1939. The success of his initial comics kicked off an unprecedented creative outburst with Lee working with a team of artists to create new superheroes, including the Hulk, Thor, Iron Man, Daredevil, Spider-Man, Doctor Strange, and the X-Men. Lee became the voice of the comic books for legions of fans. He also became a recognized figure in pop culture thanks to his cameo appearances in the Marvel films, starting with X-Men in 2000 and ending with Avengers Endgame in 2019. Tim Roth plays Emil Blonsky or Abomination. He was nominated for an Oscar for his role in Raw Roy in 1995 and has acted in big-budget Hollywood with major roles in Planet of the Apes in 2001 and The Incredible Hulk in 2008. William Hurt plays Thaddeus Thunderbolt Ross, the textbook model of the sensitive leading man. Oscar-winning actor William Hurt was a major player in 1980s cinema who was typically cast as a detached intellectual type and easily at his best playing characters who were physically or emotionally damaged. Hurt cemented his reputation as a passionate artist more concerned with creating great roles than with straightforward leading man roles. He earned more critical acclaim for Children of a Laser God in 1986 and Broadcast News in 1987. Sam Rockwell plays Justin Hammer. Sam Rockwell was an Academy Award-winning film actor who was best known for his critically acclaimed roles in films like Confessions of a Dangerous Mind, Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri, and Vice. He played Justin Hammer in Iron Man 2 in 2010. He won his first Oscar in 2018 for his supporting role in Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri and the following year, in 2019, was nominated for an acting Oscar for a second time for his part as President George W. Bush in the Adam McKay-directed Dick Cheney biopic Vice. Mickey Rock played Ivan Wongo or Whiplash, emerging onto the film landscape loaded with talent and promise. Actor Mickey Rock first made his presence known with a scene-stealing turn as an assassinist in the erotic noir Body Heat. Rock was able to secure roles in blockbusters like Iron Man 2 and The Expendables, which helped rekindle his long-burning promise. Natalie Portman plays Jane Foster, hailed as a child prodigy for her uncommonly skilled performances in Luke Besson's The Professional and Michael Mann's Heat. Natalie Portman became a major big-screen draw in her 20s. She offered a Golden Globe-nominated performance as the level-headed daughter of flighty single mom Susan Sarandon in Any Way But Here, before transforming into a sci-fi pin-up as regal queen Padme Amidala in the Star Wars prequel trilogy, her occasional forays into mega-blockbuster territory including V for Vendetta and Kenneth Branagh's Thor proved Portman's screen appeal as an empowered, intelligent and irresistibly cute screen star. Cart Dennings plays Darcy Lewis. Once described as a cross between Molly Ringwald and Winona Ryder, actress Cart Dennings established a screen presence all her own in a slew of film roles and as the star of a successful TV sitcom. She proved herself to be a winning romantic lead in The Sleeper in the hit Nick and Nora's Infinite Playlist and capable of carrying a film largely on her own with Daydream Nation, with her well-received supporting role in the comic book blockbuster Thor and as a co-star on the sitcom Two Broke Girls. Dennings firmly placed herself alongside Hollywood's most promising young talent. Brie Larson plays Captain Marvel, a striking young actress gifted well beyond her years. Brie Larson cut her professional teeth with television roles on shows like Raising Dad and Right on Track. She exceeded expectations with a subtle performance in the indie drama Room in 2015, which garnered widespread critical acclaim and a Best Actress Oscar. One of the rare talents who only improved with age, Brie Larson gave critics and fans ample reason to expect her to reach even greater artistic heights over time, even as she also tackled roles in escapist fare like Kong Skull Island in 2017 and joined the Marvel Cinematic Universe as superhero Carol Danvers in Captain Marvel in 2019. Anthony Hopkins played Odin, 
Hopkins cracked through in a clear mainstream way with his Academy Award-winning turn as Dr. Hannibal Lecter in Jonathan Demme's The Silence of the Lambs in 1991. It kicked off an impressive run for the actor as he followed it up with Oscar nominations for his roles in The Remains of the Day, Nixon, and Amistad. In 2011, he appeared as Odin in the Marvel film Thor, a part which he'd reprise several times in the next decade. Haley Atwell plays Peggy Carter. Haley Atwell possessed an air of natural elegance and grace that made her a favorite to portray strong-willed yet emotionally vulnerable women. It was her breakout role in the epic miniseries The Pillars of the Earth in 2010 that made Hollywood sit up and take notice of Atwell's talents, all of which paved the way for bigger and more exciting parts to follow. These included her entry into Marvel's Avengers universe as S.H.I.E.L.D. agent Peggy Carter in Captain America The First Avenger and its sequels, as well as her own TV series, Agent Carter. The role of Red Skull had been played by two actors in different movies in the MCU. Hugo Weaving played Red Skull or Johann Schmidt in Captain America The First Avenger in 2011, though he shied away from big Hollywood blockbusters early in his career. Actor Hugo Weaving went on to have prominent supporting roles typically as the villain in some of the biggest movie franchises in cinema history. Ross Marquin played Red Skull in Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame and voiced the character in the Disney Plus show, What If, Toby Jones played Arnim Zola. Toby Jones was an award-winning actor and playwright who parlayed his success on the London stage into an acclaimed string of roles in films and television on both sides of the Atlantic. He gained his strongest notices and widest exposure for his portrayal of author Truman Capote in Infamous in 2005. He ably portrayed figures of historical importance in Based on Fact dramas and appeared in the MCU in the Captain America movie series. Toby Smulders plays Maria Hill. As an actress, Toby Smulders enjoyed the rare opportunity to star not only on a hit television series, but simultaneously appear in one of the biggest box office hits of all time. Smulders joined the ensemble cast of the relationship sitcom How I Met Your Mother, working alongside Jason Segel, Alison Hannigan, and Neil Patrick Harris. Smulders suddenly found herself in the enviable position of a highly rated and critically praised series. Writer-director Joss Whedon cast her as Super Agent Maria Hill in the superhero spectacular The Avengers in 2012, a movie that ruled the box office for the year and set the stage for numerous potential follow-up appearances by the in-demand actress. Rebecca Hall played Maya Hansen, the daughter of one of England's most acclaimed theatre and television directors. Actress Rebecca Hall began making her first on-screen appearances in British television while still a child. She often preferred to remain in her native England, as she did for her BAFTA-winning performance in Red Riding 1974. After delivering acclaimed turns in the indie comedy Please Given Ben Affleck's highly praised crime thriller The Town, Hall undoubtedly established herself as a talented leading actress worthy of international attention, appearing in the blockbuster superhero sequel, Iron Man 3 in 2013. Ty Simpkins plays Harley Keener. Ty Simpkins' acting career started before he turned one year old, with a role in a few episodes of One Life to Live. Simpkins took a lead role as Dalton Lambert in the smash hit horror thriller Insidious in 2009. In Iron Man 3 Simpkins played the smart kid who helps an injured Tony Stark. Simpkins also co-starred as one of the visitors trapped on Isla Nublar when things go awry once more. In Jurassic World, Guy Pearce played Dolrich Killian. Actor Guy Pearce earned international attention in The Adventures of Priscilla, Queen of the Desert in 1994. He played the role of Aldrich Killian in Iron Man 3. He portrayed King Edward VIII in the Oscar-winning drama, The King's Speech. Ben Kingsley plays Trevor Slattery, exuding an air of gravitas in whatever role he played. Academy Award winner Sir Ben Kingsley made a specialty of playing historical characters. His most acclaimed performance, however, was in Sir Richard Attenborough's epic biopic Gandhi in 1982, in which he played the title role of one of the 20th century's most revered and influential figures. Thanks to that Oscar-winning performance, Kingsley went from being a relatively obscure character actor to an international star overnight. He played the role of Trevor Slattery in Iron Man 3. Christopher Eccleston played Malekith, the offbeat, yet oddly handsome. Christopher Eccleston first came to prominence in the Based on Fact Let Him Have It before going on to play an assortment of intense, deeply conflicted characters, 
He really achieved big screen prominence with his expert portrayal. He really achieved big screen prominence with his expert portrayal in 1998. He played the role of Malik Ethan Thor Dark World. Benicio del Toro plays the collector Orthane Ritawan, having emerged from the fertile world of 1990s independent film as one of its most compelling performers. Academy Award winning actor Benicio del Toro made the jump to studio films and became known for his roles in a wide array of projects. The actor broke through in a big way by winning the Oscar for his performance in Steven Soderbergh's epic crime thriller Traffic. He played the role of collector in Guardians of the Galaxy and Avengers Infinity War. George's Pier plays George's Butt Rock. George's Pier is a Canadian former professional mixed martial artist and actor. He is widely regarded as one of the greatest fighters in mixed martial arts history. George's was a two division champion in the Ultimate Fighting Championship having won titles in the welterweight and middleweight divisions. He played the role of George's Buttrock in Captain America the Winter Soldier in 2014 and in the Disney Plus show, The Falcon and Winter Soldier in 2021. Emily Van Camp plays Sharon Carter. Canadian actress Emily Van Camp won over audiences with a series of roles that gradually took her from those of bright-eyed girls to a starring role as a dark and complex young woman on a hit TV drama popular with both critics and younger fans. The actress later proved that she could hold her own against a cast of veterans in the family drama Brothers and Sisters. She transferred that new level of fame to the big screen with a recurring role as Special Agent Sharon Carter in Captain America the Winter Soldier and Captain America Civil War. Talented and eminently likable, Van Camp was more than armed with the tools necessary to forge an impressive and lengthy acting career. Aaron Taylor Johnson played Quicksilver or Pietro Maximov. In less than a decade, actor Aaron Johnson went from well regarded juvenile performer in his native England to the star of the Hollywood superhero movie Kick Ass in 2010. Aaron logged critically acclaimed performances on UK TV, as well as in stateside films such as Shanghai Nights and The Illusionist. He gained international attention for his sensitive portrayal of a teenaged John Lennon in Nowhere Boy before pleasing comic book fans everywhere as a high school vigilante in Kick-Ass. He played the role of Quicksilver in Avengers Age of Ultron. Frank Grillo played Crossbones or Bro Cromelo, tough, charming and well-versed in the finer points of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Frank Grillo made a career out of playing agents, detectives, police officers and more. He played a memorable role as a lawyer on Fox's popular prison break. The high-profile show launched the mixed martial arts enthusiast into several career-making projects like Liam Neeson's surprise hit The Grey, Sate Green voice as Howard the Duck, Sate Green made it cool to be a geek, whether lending his voice to an animated character or flexing his goofball muscles on the big screen, Green was the consummate funny guy. The talented actor kept the laughs at a premium during his decades-long career, where he appeared in countless films and on several critically acclaimed television shows where he created some of the small screen's most exciting and breakthrough sketch comedies. He often voiced in the stop-motion animated series Robot Chicken on Cartoon Network. Sean Gunn plays Craglin, a native of St. Louis. Sean Gunn is a character actor best known for his role on the television series Gilmore Girls. Like his older brother, filmmaker-slash-actor James Gunn, he started out in low-budget independent movies, appearing in a supporting role in the late 1990s horror outing Tromeo and Juliet. In 2000 Gunn signed on to the comedy show Gilmore Girls as quirky supporting character Kirk Gleason, and he appeared throughout the show's seven-season run. He played the role of Craglin and also does the on-set motion capture acting for Rocket Raccoon in Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 1 and Vol. 2, Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame. Lee Pace played Ronan the Accuser. Lee Pace made his television debut in a 2002 episode of Law & Order Special Victims Unit. Pace received critical acclaim for his performance in Soldier's Girl as well as Golden Globe and Satellite Award nominations. He then segued into a series of high-profile feature projects, including the James Ivory-directed White Countess and Douglas McGrath's Infamous. He played the role of Ronan and the Accuser in Guardians of the Galaxy. Andy Serkis played Ulysses Clower, of the countless visual effects that wowed moviegoers in Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings trilogy. None had the sheer impact of Gollum. The character would have had none of its impact were it not for the astonishing performance of Andy Serkis. The English actor who lent his voice and physical movements to the role, 
he would go on to give life to another Jackson digital creation the title Beast in King Kong, fans later thrilled to the performer reprising the role of Gollum in Jackson's The Hobbit trilogy, along with performances in Planet of the Apes trilogy, plus Avengers Age of Ultron, Star Wars Episodes 7 and 8 and Black Panther. James Spader voiced Ultron, actor James Spader was known for playing intriguing deviants in a number of acclaimed independent films in the 1980s and 1990s before his magic touch with morally ambiguous outsiders found its way to television on Boston Legal for which he earned several Emmy Awards for Outstanding Lead Actor in a Drama Series. By the time he joined the cast of The Office in 2011, Spader was firmly established as a credible lead in television and on film capably performing in just about any role that came his way, James Spader voiced Ultron in Avengers Age of Ultron in 2015, Corey Stoll played Yellow Jacket or Darren Cross, a hard-working and talented character actor who immersed himself into each character he played, Corey Stoll gained critical recognition for portraying one of the most iconic literary figures of all time in a film written and directed by Woody Allen. While lesser actors might have been intimidated by playing Ernest Hemingway in an Allen film, Stoll brought the author back to life in Midnight in Paris, Corey Stoll played Darren Cross in Ant-Man in 2015, David Dostmalchin plays Kurt, David Dostmalchin received acclaim for lead role in Tennessee Williams's The Glass Menagerie, he has various comic book adaptations in his filmography as he has appeared as Kurt in Marvel's Ant-Man, as one of the Joker's henchmen in DC's The Dark Knight, and as Dwight Pollard in the TV series, Gotham, he has also portrayed Polka Dotman in The Suicide Squad in 2021, Michael Pena plays Luis, actor Michael Pena finally emerged as a notable performer with his standout performance in the drama Crash in 2005, prior to his breakout role, Pena made the first major strides in his career with a small, but memorable turn in Million Dollar Baby, he delivered strong supporting turns in the action thriller Shooter, the stately courtroom thriller The Lincoln Lawyer and the action comedy Tower Heist, he delivered an award-worthy performance in the indie action End of Watch in 2012, he played Louise in Ant-Man in 2015 and in Ant-Man and the Wasp in 2018, Michael Douglas plays Hank Pym, actor and producer Michael Douglas enjoyed great success by avoiding the heroic leading man archetype by creating smart, flawed, sympathetically human characters, his popularity grew through several star-making hits, including Romancing the Stone, Fatal Attraction and held strong as he portrayed midlife professionals at a crossroads in Wall Street, in addition to his movie star status, Douglas was well known as a film producer, garnering a Best Picture Oscar for his first outing, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest in 1975. Michelle Pfeiffer plays Janet Van Dyne. Michelle Pfeiffer made her acting and TV debut in an episode of Fantasy Island and her film debut in The Hollywood Nights. Pfeiffer has been nominated for three Academy Awards. She starred as Selena Kyle or Catwoman in Tim Burton's superhero sequel Batman Returns in 1992, one of her most well known performances. Pfeiffer then joined the pantheon of characters brought to the screen in the Marvel Cinematic Universe as Janet Van Dyne in Ant Man and the Wasp in 2018. Evangeline Lilly plays the Wasp or Hope Van Dyne. Evangeline Lilly was a Canadian actress and writer who first rose to prominence by co starring in one of the most successful TV shows of the early 21st century, before moving on to some of the biggest franchise blockbuster films of the era. She starred in the show, Lost, which was an instant cultural phenomenon, earning rave reviews from critics and drawing audiences in with its mysterious sci fi structure. Lily was often praised for her nuanced portrayal of Kate, even earning a Golden Globe nomination in 2006. She then ventured into the Marvel Cinematic Universe, taking on the role of Hope Van Dyne in Ant Man, a role she would reprise for Ant Man and the Wasp and Avengers Endgame in 2019. Robert Redford played Alexander Pierce, one of the most iconic actors of his generation. Robert Redford is perhaps best known for his role as the Sundance Kid in the film Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid in 1969, the namesake for the now famous Sundance Film Festival which Redford helped found. Redford starred in memorable films like The Candidate, Jeremiah Johnson, The Way We Were, and All the President's Men. Redford also directed the acclaimed family drama Ordinary People in 1980, 
He portrayed Alexander Pierce in Captain America The Winter Soldier. Marissa Tomei plays May Parker. Actress Marissa Tomei won an Oscar for the Best Supporting Actress for her comical performance in My Cousin Vinny in 1992. She proved her talent and career longevity, however, with her Oscar-nominated, subtle but complex turns in The Wrestler, she portrayed May Parker in the MCU's Spider-Man movie series. Daniel Brühl plays Baron Zemo. Versatility is a coveted trait in acting, and few performers can claim to be as versatile as multilingual European actor Daniel Brühl. Starting out on German television productions, he found his breakthrough role in 2003 with the thoughtful feature comedy Goodbye, Lenin. Brühl appeared in his first American movie, with a small part in the action hit The Bourne Ultimatum, and he was later featured more prominently in Quentin Tarantino's revisionist World War II film Inglorious Bastards. He portrayed Baron Zemo in Captain America Civil War and in Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Tilda Swinton played the Ancient One. Tilda Swinton was an Academy Award-winning British actress who achieved widespread praise for her daring roles in acclaimed films like Adaptation, We Need to Talk About Kevin, and Michael Clayton. In 2007 she played an unscrupulous lawyer in the Tony Gilroy-directed legal thriller Michael Clayton. Her supporting role in the film earned Swinton her first Oscar. She portrayed the Ancient One, the mentor of Doctor Strange in the 2016 Doctor Strange movie and in Avengers Endgame in 2019. Chu Wittalegio Four plays Carl Mordo. British actor Chu Wittalegio Four quietly embarked upon a film career after several successful stage performances with a noticeable supporting role as an interpreter in Steven Spielberg's historical drama, Amistad in 1997. His performance in Kinky Boots earned him his first Golden Globe nomination. Egeo 4 graduated to bigger studio films, supporting Denzel Washington in both Inside Man and American Gangster. He portrayed Carl Mordo in the Doctor Strange movie. Rachel McAdams plays Christine Palmer. Canadian actress Rachel McAdams first came to the attention of U.S. audiences in both The Hot Chick and Mean Girls. She co-starred in the studio blockbuster Sherlock Holmes and later reprised her role in the sequel, Sherlock Holmes A Game of Shadows in 2011. She received an Academy Award nomination for her work in the ensemble drama Spotlight in 2015. She portrayed Christine Palmer in the Doctor Strange movie, Benedict Wong plays Wong a regular fixture in both British TV and American cinema. Prolific character actor Benedict Wong carved out a career playing parts on both sides of the law before landing his most imposing role as Kublai Khan in historical epic Marco Polo. Wong worked with Ridley Scott, playing ship pilot Ravel in sci-fi horror Prometheus, and appeared as mobsters in Jason Statham Vehicle Redemption, superhero sequel Kick-Ass 2 in 2013. Wong then landed arguably his most high-profile role when he was cast as Kublai Khan, the founder of the Yuan dynasty, in big-budget 13th-century epic Marco Polo. He played the role of Wong in Doctor Strange, Avengers Infinity War, and Avengers Endgame. Mads Mikkelsen played Caecilius, an intense presence in international film since the late 1990s. Actor Mads Mikkelsen enjoyed considerable popularity in his native Denmark. His performance as the icy terrorist Le Chiffre in the James Bond thriller Casino Royale brought him to the attention of Hollywood, which cast him largely in period action features like Titans and The Three Musketeers. He won the Best Actor Award at the 2012 Cannes Film Festival for his performance in the movie, The Hunt. Kurt Russell played Ego the Living Planet, after getting his start as a child star in several movies for Walt Disney Studios. Actor Kurt Russell managed to shed his wholesome image to play some of cinema's most notorious and hard-edged tough guys. His films, Stargate and Executive Decision were box office successes. Russell offered up varied performances in films like the tense thriller Breakdown and Quentin Tarantino's Grindhouse. He portrayed Ego the Living Planet in Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 2. Sylvester Stallone plays Starker O God. Sylvester Stallone was an icon of American cinema who, over the course of his nearly half-century in the film industry, was single-handedly responsible for giving life to two of the most beloved characters to have ever graced the silver screen, Rocky Balboa and John Rambo. His film, Rocky was nominated for 10 Oscars, including two for Stallone for acting and writing, and would go on to take home the Academy Award for Best Picture. Then in 1982 Stallone's career hit an even higher peak when he starred in, and wrote the screenplay for, 
the action film First Blood which introduced John Rambo, thus making Stallone one of the biggest box office drawers of the 1980s. Jacob Batalo plays Ned Leeds. Jacob Batalo was an American actor who broke out in 2017 when he played Ned Leeds in Spider-Man Homecoming. Shortly before graduation was asked to audition for the role of Ned Leeds in the upcoming Spider-Man reboot. Batalo auditioned directly with Tom Holland, who was to play Spider-Man in the upcoming film, and the two clicked right away, with his acting career hitting a high point relatively quickly. Batalo also nabbed parts in the films Every Day and The True Don Quixote, the latter of which he played the legendary Sancho Panza. Zendaya plays MJ or Michelle Jones, as both a singer and an actress. Zendaya Coleman earned stardom at a very young age, thanks to her leading role on the children's sitcom Shake It Up. She launched her music career with the singles Swag It Out and Watch Me. After making her film debut in the Disney Made Frenemies in 2012, she made her big screen debut in the superhero blockbuster Spider Man Homecoming. Michael Keaton plays the Vulture or Adrian Toomes, though he began his career in stand up comedy. Intense actor Michael Keaton blossomed into a multi talented performer comfortable in comedies, gritty dramas, and big budget action movies. Keaton reached new heights when he won the title role in Burton's Take on Batman in 1989. His casting surprised many and angered some though when the finished film was released, most were in agreement that Keaton's brooding performance was inspired. He had a career-redefining role in the Oscar-winning Birdman. Kate Blanchett played Hilar, a gifted performer who developed her talent at a young age. Actress Kate Blanchett grew into an exceptional actress who achieved international acclaim with her Oscar-nominated turn as a young Elizabeth I in Elizabeth in 1998. Seemingly favoring smaller films, it came as a surprise that Blanchett appeared as the elf Galadriel in the blockbuster trilogy, The Lord of the Rings, which she followed with a critically hailed performance as Catherine Hepburn in The Aviator. Blanchett delivered memorable turns in Woody Allen's Blue Jasmine, winning the Best Actress Oscar for her role. Jeff Goldblum plays the Grandmaster, despite having starred in some of the biggest blockbuster films of all time. Actor Jeff Goldblum had often opted to portray offbeat characters in limited release in these. Goldblum reached new heights as an unorthodox scientist in the hit action film Jurassic Park in 1993. Three years later, he starred in one of the biggest box office drawers of all time, Independence Day in 1996, which solidified his status as one of Hollywood's top stars. He portrayed the Grandmaster in Thor Ragnarok. Tessa Thompson plays Valkyrie. Tessa Thompson's confident screen presence helped to make her a major screen talent in the late 2010s, with starring roles in such critically and box office hits as Selma, Creed, Thor Ragnarok. Thompson made her screen acting debut in an episode of the CBS crime drama Cold Case in 2005. She received critical acclaim for her performance as civil rights activist Diane Nash in Ava DuVernay's Selma and as Delos board member Charlotte Hale on HBO's Westworld. Taika Waititi plays Kodj, Kiwi filmmaker Taika Waititi's gift for uproarious and absurd humor served him well as director on such films as What We Do in the Shadows, Hunt for the Wilder People and Thor Ragnarok, which freely mixed humor with horror, action adventure and other genres. Though Waititi had expressed reticence in working on a major studio feature, he won over Marvel Studios with a demo reel he created for its upcoming Thor feature. He directed Thor Ragnarok which was the ninth highest grossing film of 2017 and opened numerous doors for Waititi, who responded with a slew of new projects. On the television front, Waititi directed an episode of Lucasfilm's The Mandalorian. Winston Duke plays M'Baku. Duke's first appearance on the small screen came in 2014 when he was cast on an episode of Law & Order SVU. Duke co-starred as M'Baku in the Marvel superhero blockbuster Black Panther a role he reprised in Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame. Lupita Nyong'o plays Nakiar. Rare is a feature film debut met with much acclaim, but rarer still is a talent such as Lupita Nyong'o. She played Patsy in director Steve McQueen's Twelve Years a Slave. Nyong'o's searing performance was widely praised by both critics and audiences, and resulted in the rising young star winning the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress. Nyong'o next appeared in a motion capture CGI role as Mars Canada in the Star Wars sequel trilogy. In between, 
Nyong'o essayed a voice role as Ruksha in John Favreau's The Jungle Book. In 2018, she joined the all-star cast of the Marvel Cinematic Universe blockbuster Black Panther. Daniel Kaluuya plays Wakabi, born in London. Daniel Kaluuya's career in entertainment started off in a way that became somewhat typical for young British actors in the mid-2000s. He played the lead role in Jordan Peele's directed horror film Get Out which came out to rave reviews and box office success. Kaluuya received much praise, including an Oscar nomination for Best Actor. Kaluuya was next seen as Wakabi in the blockbuster superhero film Black Panther. Peter Dinklage plays Itri. American actor Peter Dinklage overcame every obstacle to start one of the most unique careers in Hollywood history. He was tapped to play Tyrion Lannister in the television adaptation of George R. R. Martin's fantasy novels. The resulting Game of Thrones became a cultural phenomenon that catapulted Dinklage to a new level of fame. The role earned the actor three Emmys and a Golden Globe. He also stepped into the popular superhero genre with supporting roles in X-Men Days of Future Past and the blockbuster Avengers Infinity War. Dinklage joined Frances McDormand and Sam Rockwell in the Oscar and Golden Globe winning drama Three Billboards Outside Ebbing, Missouri. Michael James Shaw played Corvus Glaive. He is best known for his recurring role as FBI agent Daryl in the TV series Limitless. Shaw has also had a recurring role in Constantine as Papa Midnight and had a role in several shots like Don Might. He also had a small role in Roots as Marcellus. Shaw portrayed Corvus Glaive in the Marvel Cinematic Universe films Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame. Terry Notary played Calypsidian. Notary mainly portrays creatures and animals for the film and television industry, and is known for his motion capture performances in films like Udar, The Adventures of Tintin Secrets of the Unicorn, The Planet of the Apes reboot series, and the Hobbit film trilogy. In 2018, Notary played Calypsidian in the Marvel Studios films Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame. Carrie Coon voiced Proxima Midnight. Tony Award-nominated actress Carrie Coon spent the first 10 years of her career treading the boats before making a successful transition to TV and film with acclaimed performances in The Leftovers and Gone Girl. In 2013, Coon received a Tony Award nomination for her debut Broadway performance as Honey in Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? Coon then earned rave reviews for her sensitive portrayal of Nora Durst in The Leftovers and her profile further gained boost when she played Margot Dunne in Gone Girl. Tom Von Lawler played Ebony Moore. Tom Von Lawler is best known in Ireland for his roles as Nigel Need Gadelaney in the RTE1 series Love or Hate, and is known internationally for his role as Ebony Moore in Avengers Infinity War and its sequel Avengers Endgame. For his portrayal of Need Gay he has won the Best Actor in a Supporting Role for Television Award at the 2012 IFTA Awards, and the Best Actor for Television Award at the 2013 IFTA Awards. Randall Park plays Jimmy Wu. Randall Park did Yeoman's work in smaller, character parts in film and television before finding his way into leading roles. He received his first true lead role when he was cast as Louis Huang, the father of celebrity chef Eddie Huang, in the sitcom Fresh Off the Boat. He stepped into the comic book film genre, carving a niche in both the Marvel and DC cinematic universes. He teamed with Rude again, playing FBI agent Jimmy Wu, in Ant-Man and the Wasp in 2018 and in the Disney Plus show, WandaVision. He then appeared opposite Jason Momoa as Dr. Stephen Shin in Aquaman in 2018. Hannah John Carmen plays the ghost or Ava star. British actress Hannah John Carmen enjoyed recurring roles in Crime Hua the Tunnel and Space Adventure Killjoys before heading into blockbuster territory with supporting parts in Tomb Raider and Ready Player One. She briefly appeared as a First Order officer in Star Wars The Force Awakens. In 2016 she added Game of Thrones to her resume with a two-episode spell as Daenerys' trusted ally Renela. She portrayed the ghost in Ant-Man and the Wasp. Lawrence Fishburne plays Bill Foster, a versatile performer equally adept at playing both hero and villain. Actor Lawrence Fishburne emerged on the scene after famously lying about his age to Francis Ford Coppola in order to land a prominent part in the director's seminal apocalypse now in 1979. Fishburne achieved iconic status with his zen-like performance as the leather-clad Morpheus in the cultural phenomenon, The Matrix a role he reprised in the back-to-back -back sequels. He also plays Perry White in the DC Cinematic Universe. Jamie Alexander plays Lady Seif, a tomboy with a passion for acting. 
Jamie Alexander displayed an act for inhabiting larger-than-life characters with her portrayals of the otherworldly Jesse on Kyle XY and the regal Lady Seif in Thor. Further rounding out her considerable talents were a pair of breakout performances in the indie horror films Rest Stop and The Other Side. No stranger to hard work, Alexander proved up to the challenge of becoming a star. She portrays Lady Seif in the MCU's Thor movies. Jude Law plays Yon Rog, one of the most venerated actors of his generation. Jude Law made his breakthrough film role would come two years later when he starred in the crime thriller Shopping in 1994. Law played Watson to Robert Downey Jr.'s Holmes in Guy Ritchie's fast-paced take on Sherlock Holmes a role he would reprise for the 2011 sequel. Law explored his comedic side in the Melissa McCarthy espionage spoof Spy. He joined the Marvel Cinematic Universe with the role of Yon Rog in Captain Marvel in 2019. Ben Mendelsohn plays Dallos. Australian actor Ben Mendelsohn may have missed out on the first wave of Aussies to invade Hollywood in the 90s. But his standout role in 2010's crime drama Animal Kingdom marked the beginning of a new chapter in his long career. His performance in Animal Kingdom led to even bigger roles in the gritty Killing Them Softly, the blockbuster The Dark Knight Rises in 2012 and finally the massively successful Rogue One A Star Wars Story in 2016. He portrayed Dallos in Captain Marvel and in Spider-Man Far From Home. Annette Benning played Marvel. Revered by film directors for her ability to take characters into deep, unexpected, emotional places, Annette Bening was a Tony-nominated stage actress before parlaying her dramatic intensity into award-worthy film performances. The A-list leading actress managed to maintain a solid output of well-received films by limiting herself to just one carefully chosen project per year. The formula would prove to be successful. With critically lauded performances in select films like The Kids Are All Right and BT's longtime passion project rules don't apply, Jake Gyllenhaal played Mysterio or Quentin Beck, despite his pedigree as a child of showbiz, actor Jake Gyllenhaal earned his spot as one of Hollywood's leading performers purely by way of his merits, he delivered one of his best performances in the movie Brokeback Mountain, which earned him his greatest critical acclaim to date. His first blockbuster starring role was in Prince of Persia The Sands of Time. J.K. Simmons plays J. Jonah Jameson, with an uncanny ability to go from understated to over the top, seemingly with the flip of a switch, actor J.K. Simmons became an ever-present fixture in film and on television via a tireless work ethic and nuanced performances, steadily gaining prominence in a variety of feature film work. Simmons landed the plum role of cantankerous tabloid editor J. Jonah Jameson in Sam Raimi's Spider-Man, earning high marks from legions of comic book fans and reprised the part for Spider-Man sequels. His powerful performance in the drama Whiplash in 2014 won him Best Supporting Actor awards at both the Golden Globes and the Oscars. Florence Pugh plays Yelena Belova, an exceptional performance as a Machiavellian young woman in Lady Macbeth elevated British actress Florence Pugh to the forefront of her craft with roles in King Lear, The Little Drummer Girl and Little Women. Pugh earned a BAFTA nomination and the British Independent Film Award for Best Actress for her tightly controlled turn, which in turn led to work in Hollywood films like the Liam Neeson thriller The Commuter and major British film and television productions. David Harbour plays Red Guardian or Alexei Shostako, being nominated for a 2005 Tony Award for his role in Broadway's Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf. Co-starring with Al Pacino on Broadway in 2010's revival of The Merchant of Venice working with Madonna on the set of her 2011 directorial debut W.E. David Harbour's acting career has worked out nicely, after showing an unexpected comedic side in his role opposite Pacino's hot-headed Shylock. Harbour nabbed supporting roles in W.E. and End of Watch, as well as the streaming hit Stranger Things, he portrayed Red Guardian in 2021's Black Widow. Simu Lu plays Shang-Chi, his first screen appearance came in a guest role on the action series Nukita based on the film La Femme Nukita and a few more guest roles and a recurring role on the police procedural Blood and Water, he made his first appearance as a major recurring character on the action series Taken. Lu plays Shang-Chi in 2021's Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Angelina Jolie plays Tina, from Hollywood Wild Child to Academy Award winner to UN Goodwill Ambassador to acclaimed filmmaker. Actress Angelina Jolie underwent a series of metamorphoses over the course of her much storied life and career. She won an Oscar in 1999 for her performance in Girl, Interrupted, 
Jolie starred in a variety of films like Claro Croft, Tomb Raider, Good Shepherd, A Mighty Heart, Changeling, Wanted in 2008 and Salt in 2010, with high-profile voice acting roles in hits like Kung Fu Panda and its sequels, as well as the title role in the skewed fairy tale Maleficent, Jolie maintained her status as one of Hollywood's most bankable actresses. Sulma Hayek plays a jerk. Salma Hayek first hit stateside cineplexes as the border town bookseller who romances Antonio Banderas' vengeful mariachi in Desperado in 1995. Among her biggest box office hits was a leading role in the Will Smith summer blockbuster Wild Wild West in 1999, though her most acclaimed performance was her Academy Award-nominated starring role as Mexican painter Frida Cujello in Frida, which Hayek, as producer, worked for years to bring to the big screen, as her career matured into the 2010s, Hayek worked consistently, moving easily between voice work in animated features, acclaimed indies like Beatrice at Dinner, comedies like Grown Ups, and popcorn thrillers like The Hitman's Bodyguard, Theona Paris plays Monica Rambeau, Theona Paris is an American actress who was best known for her roles on the popular television shows Mad Men and Survivor's Remorse. In 2012 she napped a recurring role as Don Draper's secretary Don Chambers in Mad Men The popularity of that series made Paris a recognizable face to the show's millions of hardcore viewers, her breakout movie role was in the 2014 indie comedy drama Dear White People, Catherine Hahn plays Agatha Harkness, equally adept at playing disarmingly sweet and comically ferocious. Catherine Hahn found a national audience early in her career as the darling of the forensic procedural drama Crossing Jordan. Hahn took her talents to Broadway in 2008 in the hit revival of the French fast Boeing Boeing. She undertook some big ticket comedy projects in the 2011 to 2012 television season, wielding a seemingly innate capacity to steal scenes from bigger stars. Hahn made herself a versatile talent producer's pine for. She portrayed Agatha Harkness in the Disney Plus show. WandaVision, Wyatt Russell plays the U.S. agent or John Walker, Wyatt Russell's acting career first began when he was just 17 years old. Russell's early roles were in comedies like High School starring Adrian Brody, he worked in television in his early acting career as well, including a part on Law and Order L.A., he continued to act in productions like the dramatic comedy This Is 40 with Paul Rudd, the drama Love and Honor with Liam Hemsworth. Julia Louis-Dreyfus plays Valentina Allegra de Fontaine. Actress Julia Louis-Dreyfus enjoyed an extraordinary run of success on television for more than two decades, first as one of the stars of Seinfeld and later as the multi-Emmy winner lead in the acclaimed comedies The New Adventures of Old Christine and Veep. Louis-Dreyfus's performance in Seinfeld netted her seven Emmy nominations, winning one in 1996 as well as a Golden Globe in 1994 and three Screen Actors Guild Awards in 1995, 1997 and 1998. Sophia Di Martino plays Sylvie, she played Eva in the 2016 feature film The Darkest Universe, she appeared as Amber in the third series of Sky's Mount Pleasant in the first episode of Series 3 of Channel 4's Friday Night Dinner. She also appeared in the third series of Four O'Clock Club in 2014 as Miss Parkwood and in the 2015 film Royal Day Out. She is known for portraying Sylvie in the Marvel Cinematic Universe television series Loki. Owen Wilson plays Mobius, a comic actor whose talents spread to writing and producing. Owen Wilson teamed up with college roommate Wes Sanderson to help put Austin on the filmmaking map with their debut film, Bottle Rocket, because of the offbeat comedy success. Wilson snagged a number of roles in both small independents and studio blockbusters. Wilson starred in a number of successful standout films, including the action comedy Shanghai Noon co-starring Jackie Chan, the box office smash comedy Wedding Crashers, the animated crowd pleaser Cars and its sequels and also in the Night of the Museum movie trilogy, Richard E. Grant played classic Loki. Character actor Richard E. Grant crafted a career that saw him equally at home in projects as disparate as Game of Thrones and Downtown Abbey. He began his first brush with the sci-fi classic Doctor Who when he appeared with Rowan Atkinson in the comedy short Doctor Who The Curse of Fatal Death and then later played the villainous Great Intelligence in the main series. He also had a memorable appearance in Game of Thrones playing the egotistical actor Jaime Barrow, 
Grant earned Critical Raves and an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor for his performance in Can You Ever Forgive Me? Christian Bale plays God the God Butcher, after being tapped by Steven Spielberg to star in his epic period film, Empire of the Sun, actor Christian Bale found himself thrust into the spotlight, after packing on the pounds and getting to a greater shape, Bale was near perfectly cast as Bruce Wayne in director Christopher Nolan's reboot Batman Begins and its much-hailed sequel, The Dark Knight in 2008. Bale emerged the following year with an Oscar-winning supporting turn for his role in The Fighter and was also was nominated for an Oscar for his role in Vice in 2018. Jonathan Majors plays Kong the Conqueror. Actor Jonathan Majors vaulted from experienced theater actor to up-and-coming film and television star with significant roles in a series of projects in 2017, including Hostiles and the ABC miniseries When We Rise. Major's film and television career took off in 2017 with supporting roles in the Western drama Hostiles with Christian Bale, and the science fiction thriller Captive State with Vera Farmiga. Hayley Steinfeld plays Kate Bishop, like actress Kim Darby, teenager Hayley Steinfeld was raised from relative obscurity to overnight stardom by playing Matty Ross the strong-willed frontier girl who hired aging Marshall Rooster Cogburn to avenge her father's death in True Grit. Steinfeld received rave reviews for her spirited performance in True Grit, as well as three Best Supporting Actress awards and a score of nominations from state and national film critic associations. In December of 2010, she received a Screen Actors Guild Award nomination for Female Actor in a Supporting Role, and a month later, an Academy Award nomination for Best Actress in a Supporting Role, along with roles in Pitch Perfect 3 and animated blockbuster Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse in 2018, Steinfeld next starred in the 1980s set Transformers prequel Bumblebee, Tatiana Marzlani plays She-Hulk or Jennifer Walters, Tatiana Marzlani was a Canadian actress whose credits include comedy drama series being Erica and Drama Heartland, both recorded in her home country and in horror films Ginger Snaps 2 Unleashed and Diary of the Dead, her most recognizable role was her lead part in the critically acclaimed science fiction drama Orphan Black. Following her breakthrough success with Orphan Black Marzlani made a two-part guest appearance on the American comedy series Parks and Recreation, Oscar Isaac plays Moon Knight. After graduating from Juilliard in 2005, Oscar Isaac embarked on a whirlwind acting career, working with some of the industry's biggest stars and directors, in 2011 alone, Isaac starred alongside Channing Tatum in 10 years and Ryan Gosling in Drive, Isaac won a Golden Globe for his starring role in Show Me a Hero, Isaac reached an even broader audience with his crowd-pleasing turn as cocky pilot Poe Dameron in the Star Wars sequel trilogy, in between, he starred in the villainous title role of X-Men Apocalypse, Evan Peters plays Ralph Boner, Eschewing roles typically reserved for emerging, young stars, Evan Peters instead portrayed rebels and outcasts who survived outside the fringes of social norms. He launched his acting career innocently enough with supporting roles, such as the title character's best friend on the Disney Channel sci-fi series Phil of the Future. He also played Quicksilver in the X-Men movies. Mahershala Ali plays Blade. One of Ali's earliest major roles was in David Fincher's The Curious Case of Benjamin Button. Ali earned his first ever Oscar nomination and victory thanks to his supporting role in Moonlight in 2016. That same year, Ali co starred on the superhero series Luke Cage. Two years later, Ali starred in the dramatic film Green Book and lent his voice to the animated movie Spider Man Into the Spider Verse. So, this is the long and ever-expanding list of the star-studded actors and actresses portraying various iconic comic book heroes, villains and other crucial supporting characters in the Marvel Cinematic Universe movies, from Iron Man to Captain America to Guardians of the Galaxy, Thor, and more, the MCU brings some of the most legendary comic heroes, and some lesser-known ones, to vibrant, colorful, action-packed life. Thanks for watching this video, please subscribe our channel for more interesting content, thank you, good day.